Durham College, which they have uh, three campuses, uh, the main campus uh, and the largest campus is in Oshawa. The other campus is uh, in Whitby, uh, next to Highway 401. And the third campus, which only offers like only one or two classes, but they are currently not operating right now in Pickering, next to Pickering uh, Go Station, across from the highway. Which station is also connected to Durham College has announced that they have collaborated with the uh, Metrolinx Transit Co Company, which they uh, have uh, ownership of uh, the regional uh, transportation like Go Train and buses. Uh, Though they have Go Go Transit, and they also uh, run uh, the Presto uh, payment. Uh, so you have your Presto card, which you can uh, just uh, scan at the stations, uh, and when aboarding a uh, bus, uh, so you uh, just uh, load money on there with uh, your through your bank. And onto your e card, and you just pay. You, know, you just pay your ticket that way. And this also uh, is eligible in uh, Toronto uh, Transit uh, subway buses, streetcars, and also some other uh, regional. Uh, Transits, uh, including uh, York Regional Transit, Brenton's Zoom bus uh, bus routes, and Durham uh, Regional Transit, and a whole lot of more. So Durham College uh, and Metrolinx uh, did a partnership and they decided to change the name of the Oshawa Go Via train station into the name uh, Durham College Oshawa Go. So, which will happen a uh, couple years later down the line. And with this, regarding this announcement, not everyone was happy about that one. In fact, many people were pretty disappointed with that one. And, uh, which some people pointing out, is this, uh, just, uh, taken out of my tuition money and uh, just making me pay extra, extra for something I will never use uh, when I am attending uh, college. And the distance between uh, going from uh, the Oshawa Go station and uh, also the Via station, which they shared the uh, station. Going from that the station all the way to uh, Durham College, uh, the Oshawa campus is quite far. It will take you uh, an average uh, 20 minutes uh, or earliest if there is no heavy traffic. Even by car, even by bus. And it was like pretty uh, far, like a 
more than 10 kilometers away, so more than 15. So technically, and since uh, the uh, college campus is not connected in any formal way to the Oshawa, the train station, it would not make sense for it would to be named that. And there is two bus routes, uh, go buses that do operate uh, and do run back and forth uh, between uh, the train station and the campus. But it also uh, is part of uh, also another route. Uh, So it uh, that bus route uh, it connects the the Oshawa Go Via station and a couple stops along the way. Uh, Durham College, uh, Ontario Tech University uh, campus. goes along Highway 7 and then also connects with uh, several bus stops and uh, stations alongside Highway 407, the toll highway. And even uh, over in Oakville, it does uh, connect with uh, Sheridan College over there as well. That's bus route number 52 and 56. So it just connects to the Oakville Go Via station as well. But that's only through the 4074 West East route, which also does connect between the two distinctive uh, stations and also multi multiple colleges, train stations. And nor do the, uh, the Sheridan College have any uh, close uh, attachments to uh, Oakville Go Via Station either. Yet out of every single station out there, uh, part of the Go Train and Bus uh, routes. Uh, Only one station has a distinctive name of a college or university, and that is York University. So, York University over in a North York uh, region of uh, Toronto, the northern part and the most popular part. If you uh, look at open it on the maps, so York University, you know, just attached off uh, right off uh, Kill Street. So York University, pretty big. So they even they have like a large campus, mostly this part. Takes over like several blocks and pretty large uh, roads going through the campus and even pathways. Uh, nice university. Yeah, yet yeah, they do have like a new subway station. Uh, 
which if you actually uh, look uh, closely, they do have like a subway station uh, and a smack in the middle. So, well, Pioneer Village, uh, which is when uh, Toronto uh, Transit, uh, they uh, extended their routes uh, for Line 1, which goes from Finch to uh, Ron, Ron Metropolitan Center. They ended up uh, making a station smack in the middle right here, right in the middle of the campus. So these students, they can literally do whatever they want during their free time. They can, uh, if they live in uh, any part of Toronto, they could just hop on the subway or bus they can get off and board the subway get off and it is right in the middle of the campus so they don't have to run like uh, 10 to uh, 20 minutes away from campus and uh, by the way they do York University does have the speaking of the GO station it's right here so it's just a couple of blocks they just have to get off from here. Well, they can just go through here, cross the street. So this is probably like an estimated 10 to 20 minutes uh, distance away though. While the GO station, which this is the Berry line. It actually is very close to York University. So it does make sense. And the Lakeshore Line, the Oshawa Govia Station is the end uh, station for uh, the Lakeshore East Line. Well, on the Lakeshore West Line, which is, all the trains are connected. So you could literally just uh, hop on a train from Oshawa to uh, and get off at the Aldershot uh, Go Via station, uh, which is just right outside Hamilton. So you can uh, board a bus from Aldershot Go Via station to uh, bus route. Uh, 15 or 18 it was to uh, McMaster University in Hamilton so although there's a, no train station uh, the, the bus route does connect to McMaster University and back and forth However, if you were to uh, to search it, this is how far actually the Oshawa station is from the campus. This is the GO station. GO via station right here. You don't have to sort of go off the, the road and uh, straight, go straight up. So go through uh, downtown, really busy Monday through Fridays, especially uh, the weekdays. Uh, And especially downtown, so busy. More, a lot of intersections through the hosp hospital area, the way through here. A lot of uh, tra uh, major traffic lights, and then uh, universe, the college and yeah, university, Ontario Tech University is right here. 
So this might just might be the worst uh, decision or investment ever made at a college.